right, take two iHeart reviewing stuff. I don't know what happened, but it stopped filming on me and I don't know how to edit, so I'm just going to start over. <laughs> so I unboxed Ruby Anderson. Uh, I didn't make you guys suffer through me trying to get her out of the box. I went ahead and just got her out off camera. Uh, that way I can hopefully maybe show her in her second outfit. If there's time, maybe I can start putting the other two in outfits. If not, definitely follow us on Instagram under the same name, iHeartReviewing stuff. And I'll definitely be doing some mix and match looks uh, for these girls. Uh, so Ruby, I think in the video I was just doing, <laughs> so I was trying to share that she does have like three colors in her hair. There's definitely like to me it looks orange, but maybe it's a reddish orange, and then there's this lighter red, and there's definitely a much darker red. Um, so it's not, it doesn't pop as much as Skylar, who has um, three blues in her hair. Like, I would say she's got this very dark blue, and then this very, this is probably my favorite color blue they put in her hair, and then like a very like uh, sky blue, very pale, pale blue. Um, and then I did want to mention her earrings. Love the moon earrings. But I wish maybe they didn't just do all of this front of her hair the dark blue because the earring is dark blue. And when I take pictures, you can't really see these awesome earrings. Like I had, I took a picture yesterday and like clipped her hair out of the way to try to like show her earrings. Um, so that's probably the only thing I don't like with, I love Skylar's hair but I wish maybe they had mixed it up in the front with the three colors that they did that way I could make those earrings pop more. Sunny I think they should have gave her sun earrings because Jade they have she has the same earrings the green doll and I think they fit for the green doll like I think they're a good match for the style that she has but Sunny I think they could have done some straight up suns for and that would be even better for her look and Sunny can also pull off a lot of stuff from Skylar and the moon earrings because of course the back of her jacket has a moon on it as well so oh my she lost a hand okay I'll reattach her hand later <laughs> okay so she comes with this is a separate piece the shirt let me take off the red top so we can see the top under it and hopefully I don't get turned off. I don't know why my phone did that. So it says sparkle on her shirt. Seems like, I think it's, yeah. I think if you mess with the fit a little bit, it is centered. Um, I think she's the palest one we've got because Sunny is definitely the darkest and then Skylar. Okay, and then I think this little flannel shirt tied around the waist, I think is also removable from the pants. It is a little stapled on, so let me try to get those little staples real quick. So that's cool. I think I learned that by watching my froggy stuff that she removed the flannel shirt from these pants, so it comes off really easily. So that's really cool, and I think it's all real stitching. I don't think any of it's printed on except for like this gold uh, going down the legs. So I like the pants. I do think Sunny has even better pants. I really like her pants. Um, but I like a good pair of like, I don't know, these like skinny jeans that they gave. And they did give them uh, belt loops. So I'm sure you can kind of, I've seen people pose them. I'm still kind of learning how to pose these dolls. Sometimes the joints can be a little stiff or hard to figure out. So I know you can, I think, loop her little thumb into that belt loop. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, so in her shoes have a little gold buckle on the side and they're black with red on the bottom. I believe they are, hmm, let's see here. Let me look at Sunny's. I thought they repeated this heel a lot, but these look actually a little different because you can see the bottom of her foot. So they are a little bit of a different heel. So that's cool. Let me look at them compared to Skylar's. Ah! Okay, oh, so Skylar, we can see the foot, but it is still a different style because I can see more of her foot. 
than this shoe. Okay, so the heels are actually got uh, little differences. I'm trying to get her. Oh, still learning to keep all this. I think because they have the real eyelashes that uh, sometimes keeping the hair out of the face because sometimes it wants to go on those lashes. Um, I'm still learning that. Still better than the na 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 dolls. I have to like move the hair out of the way, like put it in ponytails or braid it or pigtails or something because Marissa changes them so often and it will get like all tangled up in the neck and the arms if I don't like have it out of the way. So let me take off these heels so I can take off the pants and put her in like a different outfit. So I love that this is a separate piece. Um, it is just like a tied around. So it's not like it's a shirt that we could have her wear. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like sewn in the uh, side of here. Like you could separate the sleeves if you want, but you don't have to. But uh, I'm pretty sure I think I don't think it's just knotted. I think it is sewn. So and it doesn't really seem to be an exact full like shirt. That would have been cool because then it would be another piece she could wear. So I'm just going to slip off her heels so I can take the pants off. I'm pretty sure that she must have red underwear. Yep, so they gave all these dolls, have like their own color stand, their own color hangers, and their own color comb. And then they have like a hanger for tops and a hanger for bottoms. And then they each have their own red underwear. I did hear that these pants are kind of snug to get off. I am definitely noticing that. Having a hard time. I've got one. Now I have to get the other foot to start moving. Oh, okay. There we go. It's coming. All right. So yeah, they're a little snug. So are Sunnies because these, I would call these like skinny jeans or almost like uh, what do they call this? Jeggings, because they're like a tight fit. But I love the little shimmer in the gold. I definitely think Sunny could pull these off. And I probably could even figure out a look for Skylar. But I definitely feel like Sunny, because she has some gold elements that they gave her already, could pull it off. Okay, so here's her extra skirt. I'm going to put this on her. So this was another, um, I think, kind of not entirely but pretty close to being a repeat item because this one has a silver buckle it is a different style buckle and this one has a gold buckle but it has that rainbow belt going on it and they do velcro the belt separately i guess if you want to take it off you can i have no idea i'm guessing you could possibly since they put real loops on the pants maybe you could put that belt on the pants i don't even attempt it to try that I'd rather just leave it on the skirt for now but for those of you who feel brave and like taking risks with your doll maybe more so than I do even though I do uh uh I'm not shy about messing with their hair um so let's see how I can get this skirt on her I feel like Skylar's is tied maybe a little better in front. This is a little loose. I don't know really how to mess with it. So that's uh, the red skirt with the sparkle top. So that actually goes well together. I'll go ahead and take the top off though and put that other top she came with. I really like once I get to it, her other shoes. So her other top she came with is a definitely a tube top. They didn't give it any uh, like plastic sleeves. So I wish they had, even though those can break. But ooh, this is a tight fit to get around her. So, okay. I don't even know if I've got her covered up. Okay. So, I mean, they're not, ooh, it came off. Okay. They're not very busty. Um, I would say the OMG dolls are bustier, but this is a very tight fit on this tube top. I don't know if anybody else ran into this with theirs, but 
I'm not really liking how tight it is. So I feel like I can barely make it go up to cover her. So yeah, I'm not loving this tube top on her. I mean, I have her covered, I think. It just, I want it up a little more um, than it is, but it's like super, super tight in the back. So I don't know if I just got one that maybe needed a little tiny, tiny bit more material. Um, Cause I haven't heard anyone else struggle with those. Okay, so let's see here. There's usually always like a left and a right foot. So, okay, I see a zipper going down. So I'm gonna assume this one is her right foot. Cause I always think of shoes, you know, the way we buy them. And a lot of times you buckle on the outside and you do zippers on the outside. Uh, even though, gosh, it's been forever since I've ever worn some shoes. Uh, that have like buckles and zippers like this too. So I love the flame on the shoes. I think that's really cool. I definitely want to photograph her in these shoes with Janelle Jaguar, the Na Na Surprise series doll from series three who has like flames on her dress. I think it'd be cool to take a picture of them together. Uh, I don't think I have much of the Fartitos Cheetos from the Poopsie but if you have some of the toys from that, there were like flames on it. I think I only have like a little bag um, that came with something, but I have the cheetah. So I would definitely would probably put her with the cheetah too. So I did photograph her with the sun and Kira Ray. I don't have the blue moon cutie tootie, but if you do, she would look cool with Skylar. Um, so uh, yeah, let me put the jacket on. So this is the jacket. Of course, I'll be taking a picture of her wearing this jacket backwards. I don't know if anybody else is really into it. I don't know if I'm the main one doing it on Instagram or not, but it's something I really like to do is always reversing the jackets, especially like Sunny. The jacket is actually the same length as her yellow dress, so you can even like kind of tuck in the collar and make it kind of look like a long sleeve dress. Because, you know, when you take a picture, nobody sees the back that it's not zipped up. Um, so I really like, uh, trying jackets in reverse and I didn't really know that about, uh, myself until probably Marissa got the OMG dolls and then like some of them like alt girl and I forget, uh, some others have like fun jackets that they have this cool image on the back, but you don't see it when you photograph, uh, the doll. Because usually, you know, we're not really photographing the back of our doll because we want to show their pretty faces. So I do like to reverse jackets. And these dolls also have hands that they come out uh, just like the OMG dolls. They just snap right out. But they didn't paint the fingernails. I think I already talked about how I wish they had at least pierced her ears so she could wear their earrings. But even just give her some earrings too would have been cool. But I understand they gave her a hat, so... I just wish they didn't do the peg thing, but I might end up liking that they did because maybe it makes the hat stay on better. So here's her other jacket. It says rainbows. It says rain on this and bows on the other side. I really like this jacket. I didn't think I was going to either because I've seen like unboxings and I've seen pictures and I'm like, eh, I don't know about the jacket, but I'm actually really liking it. So, and it's kind of made out of material like if it's raining outside, you would wear this sort of like waterproof jacket. I love this. It has the RH and a rainbow and says rainbow high on the back. Two in white and two in like a goldish color. So yeah, I didn't think I was going to like the jacket. Still, I wish the tube top was a little more fitted to where I want it to be because <laughs> it is very tight fit. And yeah, I would say I would probably wear this jacket and probably her t-shirt with the jeans but then i don't know if you can really wear these shoes with the jeans i will have to test that out um so yeah all right i'm already at 14 minutes sorry i try to keep these at 10 but i tend to talk a lot i get excited uh i did not grow up uh really into dolls to be honest i had an older brother for the most part. I mean, I had an older sister too, but I didn't see her as often because we have the same dad, but not the same mom. My brother and I have the same mom, not the same dad. 
And my sister's mom lives in another state, so she was kind of back and forth between my dad and her mom. Uh, and then my parents divorced when I was five, almost six. So <laughs> there's all that too. So I honestly was mostly around my brother because he was under my mom's roof. And so the, and then my toys uh, were usually like just kind of their hand-me-downs. So my sister had like My Little Ponies and she had some Barbies. Um, I remember liking the gym dolls. I thought they had like more colorful hair. I thought they were cooler. I thought Barbie was boring. <laughs> I do like Barbie now. Um, and then my brother had like Star Wars toys and Legos and I like to build stuff and I like puzzles and stuff like that. So I think like his toys kind of spoke to me more growing up as a child. But Marissa is really into dolls and it's kind of, she's end up influencing me to really appreciate and find a new love for dolls that I didn't know I had. So, cause yeah, two big presents I can remember <laughs> getting growing up as a kid was I remember one year, I think when I turned seven or eight, my grandma on my mom's side bought me, I think it was, I think there's five, the new kids on the block, she bought me each Ken doll. And I don't think they were like cheap. I think they were kind of expensive and she got me all five. And that was like a, oh my God, <laughs> moment for me. And then probably when I was like, I don't know, I wanna say like 10, but I could be off. That I think I got like a Christmas Barbie. And that was like a big deal too, to get like a Christmas Barbie. I remember my brother being like, oh, keep it in the box, be worth money someday. And I was like, no way, I've never gotten a Christmas Barbie. It's coming out of the box. Uh, so those are like two highlights <laughs> from my childhood. So I'm definitely kind of living vicariously through all the stuff I'm able to afford to get Marissa to enjoy. I end up enjoying it a lot too and have fun taking pictures of these for you guys on Instagram. Um, and I tried to do a good review on our YouTube for you um, just because they are so hard to unbox. <laughs> I wish they did less plastic. But I do like that we see the doll, we see her outfit. Um, so we can make sure, cause I have seen some people are finding like the purple one, violet, willow with really bad bangs. I think someone showed me a picture of Amaya Rain, the really expensive $35 one with the hair stuff. Uh, I think somebody showed me like the eyeball was like popping out of her face or something horrible. And I was like, ooh, okay, yeah. So I'm glad these aren't a mystery thing where we don't see them. and. I don't know if they're gonna ever do that for the OMG dolls. I would definitely like it if they did. But I'm actually team Rainbow High at this point. I really like these dolls. I like the real lashes. I like the more um, inset or glass eye, whatever they call this eye, uh, that they did for these more so than painted on eyes. Um, and the clothes are definitely really, really special, like very detailed really awesome to see in person. So thanks for watching. I will definitely do some Ruby stuff on Skylar and Sunny. So hopefully you follow us on Instagram to see those pictures. So thanks for watching. Bye.